Hi there, I'm Maria from the Richardson Simple Living and this morning we're going to be doing something special. I'm going to be doing a collab about um, Christmas movies, or favourite Christmas movies and favourite Christmas books. I'm doing this with Victoria from Home Educating the Mad Lads. So if you haven't come across her channel, please go and have a look at it because um, it's very interesting, very good, all about home educating her four children. She has an allotment, she has chickens, so it's great viewing, great to watch. So yeah, so like I said, we're doing a collab and we're doing it about, forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> Our favourite Christmas movies. My mind went blank then. Fav favourite Christmas movies and books. It's all right. It's early in the morning. Not long got up, and oh, my brain's not engaged yet. So I think it's quite nice. I, I position myself to the light, and without realising, I've actually got the tree behind me. <laughs> so that's quite good for saying I'm talking about Christmas. So yes, um, our favourite Christmas movies as a family. What do we like watching? Year in, year out, it is always, with me especially, is The Christmas Carol. I love um, Scrooge. I think my favourite two, I watch two kinds. I watch the black and white version with Alistair Sims and also the coloured version of George C. Scott. But having said that, another favourite along these lines is The Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, the eldest daughter likes that and I've watched it a couple of times. At first I didn't like it, I thought, oh no, I'm not into this. But it's the songs, they grow on you and then you find yourself wanting to watch it, just listen to the songs. So yeah, we watched that and definitely um, Christmas Vacation. I love the Vacation movies and the Christmas Vacation, that is brilliant. It, it is so like our family. It is nuts. They're the Griswolds, we're the Richardsons, and it is so much similar. I mean, we haven't had the police break down the doors and windows yet or anything like that, but I do remember one Christmas morning being woken up early by the police and then we're returning. My son, sorry about the shadow, then the husband walked past the light that's coming the other way. Yeah, as I was saying, the police were returning my eldest son home who'd been out on a Christmas Eve... Um, drink with his friends and completely lost himself forgot where he was and couldn't find his way home so the police returned him it was probably about four o'clock Christmas morning I came downstairs and answered the door and the baby doll nighting <laughs> nothing else <laughs> to find these two policemen and my eldest son but uh, that was many many years ago so yeah we often liken ourselves to the Grizzles we've had all the burnt turkeys and everything as I Imagine so many people have. So yeah, that's one of our favourite movies. We watched that. Um, now, Sean's favourite movie, I was asking Sean, what do you like watching the most, Sean? Because obviously we do watch a variety of things. I said, what's your favourite? And hers was Santa Claus. It's about some kittens that have to save Christmas. So that's quite good to like. In fact, we watched it at the weekend. I think it was on Netflix. Was it Netflix, Sean? It's all right, Sean's across the way from me. She's doing a morning maths. I'm doing some timetables today. She needs to brush up on them a bit. So yeah, um, we watched that on Netflix at the weekend. But Sean does have it on DVD so she can watch it in a room. But she loves that one. She likes animal ones. When she was younger, she used to like, um, I don't know if you know of the buddies, the, the dogs that have all the adventures. And she used to like watching Snow Buddies and the Christmas Buddies and things like that. And she used to watch them endlessly. So, yeah, movie-wise, we watch a wide variety. Um, I like old black and white movies. I like It's a Wonderful Life. That's a good movie. I enjoy watching that because I do like the old black and whites. So, yeah, I think uh, movie-wise, they're probably the things we watch over and over. We watch The Cranks. Um, I think she's it called Christmas with the Cranks. We watched that a few times. I won't say it's one of my favourites, but it's up there with the seasonal movies that you must watch, sort of thing. So we do watch that. Um, I think mainly it's just them we watch over and over, really. I mean, I do put 
the movie channels on and I do look at Christmas movies, different ones, because I like to have a run of watching them and we often sit and watch a movie. But it's not movies that we'll watch over and over again because the ones we watch over and over again are, like I say, the versions of Christmas Carol or Scrooge, whichever they're called. And yeah, the black and white Alistair Sims and the coloured George C. Scott and the Muppets one. Um, the Santa Claus, the Christmas Vacation. And uh, we do watch Cranks every year. That I think as far as Christmas movies goes, that's what we religiously watch over and over, year in, year out, amongst others. But they're not year in, year out. Books. Um, we don't tend to read a lot of Christmas books, really. Again, The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Uh, I've read that. I've got that book and I've read that. But I wouldn't still read it every year or anything like that. But it is one of my favourite books. My favourite author is Charles Dickens, so I've got all his collection. But, yeah, I love The Christmas Carol. We all like watching The Christmas Carol. And... Um, Sean, you haven't read The Christmas Carol, have you, yet? No, we haven't done that one with Sean yet. So that'd be quite nice um, to do at a future date. Um, oh, Christmas books. Oh, obviously, The Night Before Christmas gets read every year. In fact, I think the girls were reading it the other day, even though it's not Christmas Eve. But that does get read every year. I think most households can probably say that. Yeah, Sean's had a book since she was little and it's beautiful. It's all coloured and it's really eye-catching. It's ever so nice book. And every year they read The Night Before Christmas. Um, but, well, we read Hetty Feather, didn't we, the other week, Sean? And we were reading Hetty Feather's Christmas just before we started the mo um, movie. The book we're on now, we did read the Hetty Feather Christmas. Um, that was quite good. First time we'd read it. I'm not sure if Sean had read it before, but it's first time I'd heard it. So that was quite good. A Christmas read. Um, but Sean has got another Jacqueline Wilson book, Christmas Stories. We bought it last Christmas, but she hasn't read it yet. So we said we'll perhaps read that next one. We finished doing the Rose Rivers one. Though I think that one will take a while. That we will do the Christmas stories next, even if it is just after Christmas when we do it. Um, so I think book-wise, I can't think of any other Christmas books we read. What about you, Sean? Is there any other Christmas books you read now? No. Oh, other than um, the 365 days stories. Sorry about the light again. That was the husband going by again. Um, when I was little, I had a storybook. I had it one Christmas when I was about seven or eight. And it was 365 stories. So it was like every day of the year, there was a little short story, or it might be a little poem, but there was one for every day of the year. And I always loved hearing the Christmas Eve one and the Christmas Day one. I always loved that, especially the Christmas Eve one, because you knew Santa was coming that night and it was great. And, but unfortunately the book didn't survive me. I do have books from my childhood, but that book didn't survive because my brothers who were younger than me, they loved that book too. And because by the time everybody had been through it, it was just in tatters and it didn't survive. But one of my brothers, he came across the exact same copy on eBay. Uh, when Sean was a baby, he came across it and he bought it for Sean and he said, now, you'd be able to carry on reading the same stories that we had every day when we was little. So we do read the Christmas Eve one and the Christmas Day one. One's a short poem and one's a short story. So yes, we do read that. I nearly forgot about them. Every year we do read them from the 365 stories. So yeah, that's all we do with them really. Um, like I say, we're more probably movies at Christmas than we are books. Prefer the movies. And music, of course. Christmas music. I won't say my favourite to them because it, it's too many. Although I must admit, last Christmas, 
my husband bought me the Bing Crosby Christmas album and that's really nice. I was playing it all over Christmas and I played it again already. Oh. So yeah, I do like that. I like Bing Crosby. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure if I'm meant to be going into music. <laughs> but that was, um, I did like that. And I do like the White Christmas. Uh, it's always strange that because movie wise, you always think the White Christmas song comes from the movie White Christmas, but it didn't. It came from Holiday Inn, which I have got, and I did watch that last Christmas, but I don't watch that every Christmas. I don't watch it all the time. That was actually my mum's copy. I bought it for my mum many Christmases ago, but after she died, I had the copy and I did watch it last year. But it's not ranked with the favourites, I don't know whether I'll watch it this year. I can say it's all Scrooge. <laughs> that probably is the top movie and um, Sean's top movie is Santa Claus and I think, what is Lisa's top movie, Sean? Is, would you say that was the Muppets. Muppets Christmas Carol? Yeah, yeah, the Muppets version of Christmas Carol is Lisa's. And the boys don't bother. The boys don't bother at all. They're not really into it. So that's basically what we watch over Christmas. I was going to warm my Christmas jumper this morning to do this vlog because I thought, oh, well, that would be good. I've looked for my wardrobe. I can't find it anywhere. It's hard to get in there as it is at the moment because I've got bags and boxes all in front. So it's hard to get into any cupboard and do anything. But. I could just about read through and flick through the rail and I couldn't find it unless it's fallen off and gone to the bottom then I won't be able to find it until after Christmas <laughs> but I, th I could um, I could see like my Christmas dress that goes with leggings but I wasn't going to put that on this one I wanted to put my Mickey Mouse my Minnie Mouse Christmas jumper on because last Christmas my eldest daughter bought us all matching jumpers and the girls all had Minnie Mouse and the Boys had Mickey Mouse and we all wore them at Christmas, all matching. <laughs> How cheesy is that? <laughs> yeah, it was all good fun. <laughs> the richest and family Christmas. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that for now. So, I, um, I'll wrap it up, I think, because wrap it up. Oh, what a pun, wrap it up. <laughs> See you, man. I'll wake up soon. We've become normal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's it. That's it for movies. That's it for books. And uh, next time I shall see you. I might do a Monday school vlog. Might vlog what Sean's done later today and pop it on tomorrow. And then hopefully Thursday will be the cooking vlog. Might do a custard tart on Thursday because I need to do a batch of pastry anyway. So if we do that, I can leave the machine out to do a batch of pastry, ready for mince pie making in mid-December. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Your favorite movie, Dean, you'd like to tell everyone? Christmas movie? It's all right, the husband's at the door. That's why I've probably gone a bit darker because he's blocking some of the light. Any Chris favorite Christmas movies? Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. <laughs> yeah, it is the one we all tend to watch the most. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so, yeah, so Thursday we hopefully we'll see you with a home cooking vlog. And um, the duck pen is still in progress, so I'm going to take more pictures as that bits of that go on. When that will all be done, I don't know. It's frosty today, but my husband says he's going to work on it for a bit. Let me see the cat behind me. Misty, looking out the window. It's too cold for her to go out. So yeah, so um, if you get a chance, pop along to ed Educating the Mad Lads, Home Educating the Mad Lads. My brain has gone today. And have a look. It's um, a really good channel. Really entertaining, really good. Enjoy it very much. So thank you all for watching. And perhaps see you tomorrow if I just pop them do what Sean's doing today, Monday, because I didn't get a chance to do it last week, because last Monday she was ill, so I perhaps pop it on tomorrow. So I'll see you then, all being well. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.